It's a beautiful spring day on Catacrom for Juanita as we kick off a brand new season of Dread Zone. That's right, Dallas, and we're lucky enough to have a bird's eye view of the action. Even from up here, this season's Dread Zone battle courses look bigger and deadlier than ever. It's a wonder contestants keep volunteering, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <sighs> oh, yeah. The Pox construction team really outdid themselves in turning this once sacred robotic burial ground into a deadly Dread Zone battle course. And look, here comes today's first contestant. Oh, my. They're really scraping the bottom of the barrel to find these guys, aren't they? I hope you folks at home aren't too squeamish, because the next one looks like a bleeder. Ratchet's first objective is a gimme, Juanita. All he has to do is make his way to the other side of this mountain pass. The shields on that turret are impenetrable. You will have to use an EMP to take them down. Command your bot to toss out an EMP by pressing the left directional button. What I want to know is how Ratchet uses the bathroom in that suit. popcorn for everyone who participates. Defeating enemies automatically upgrades your Dread Zone weaponry and improves your maximum nanotech level. As Team Dark Star continues toward the Catacrom Burial Dome, they'll need to cross what I like to call the chasm of endless falling and eventual dying. In the unlikely event that they survive, they'll take control of the big, bad, and burly walking armored tank called the Landstalker. Good luck, kids. Ratchet, you will have to capture all three nodes to extend the bridge. would he be? I'm gonna go with Snickerdoo. Team Darkstar is making their mark in the red zone. Team Markstar is making their dark in red zone. Oh dear, I've gone cross-eyed. Here's a chilling thought. Team Darkstar is walking on top of a giant robot burial ground. Why work up a sweat turning cranks when you can order your box to do it for you? Let 
me at him! Let me at him! I'll tear him apart! Time to get a better view of the area. Have you ever wondered what's in the special sauce? experience as you use them, which allows them to be upgraded. Upgraded weapons not only do more damage, but can be modified. You know, sometimes I think I should have taken that job on Annihilation Nation. They've got a great dental plan. Ratchet, according to Treadzone show requirements, enemies appear red on the radar. Allies appear green. Challenge objectives appear blue. should have his own fitness machine, his own shoes, his own fat-burning barbecue! the fire button. Your swing shot will deploy automatically and kill <laughs> No, folks, Ratchet has found the Landstalker!
This all-terrain mech of destruction comes fully loaded with power steering, AC, jumbo-sized drink holders, and enough plasma mortars to take out a small star system. Team Dark Star's not out for a Sunday drive today, folks. They'll be blazing a trail right into the center of the Catacrom Burial Dome. Ratchet, you will have to use the Landstalker's mortars to destroy those Quasar orbs. That should clear the way. this carnage, folks. But it's time for the final showdown in the Catacrom Burial Dome. There's no telling what lurks inside these walls. Ratchet, you must defeat all your opponents in order to complete this challenge. In other words, stay alive. and Ratchet is hot! Zombies, dead ahead! Oh, <laughs> no pun intended, sir. Work, Ratchet. 
gadget. I must admit, I was worried. Well done, Ratchet. You have completed your first Dread Zone campaign and won a medal. You have also unlocked a new set of objectives called Dread Challenges. Earning medals and defeating Dread Challenges are the key to survival in Dread Zone. You must earn Dread Points in order to unlock new planets. You can earn them by beating the Dread Challenges on any accessible planet. Challenges can be completed in any order once they are unlocked. Ratchet will race to beat the clock. Each checkpoint he passes will earn him a few extra seconds. Team Darkstar, get ready to race! is more fun than a busload of cheerleaders. It's time to hop into the Land Stalker. Take out as many enemies as you can. Your bots accumulate attack power each time they take a hit or deal damage. When the power meter reaches full, you can order them to deliver a devastating special attack. Interesting fact, folks. Dread Zone started out with two guys fighting over a breakfast burrito, and the rest is history. This is a Dread Zone favorite. Our contestant will... ...have to destroy three ancient statues all in a matter of minutes. You gotta love it! Ever seen the Diablo in the pale moonlight? I have, and it's fantastic!
Your status on Red Zone now allows you to access Planet Sarathos.